the shoe. Let's start with shoe. Yeah, shoe. We're gonna watch some shoe. I'm sure they do. What happened to men? Women. <laughs> Women happened. Back in the day, men used to drive truck, <coughs> drink beer, get drafted into war, and die. And now <laughs> Unlucky. Men play video games, Hi, simp e-girl, become e-girl, and cry. Men used to- You guys cry? <laughs> you guys cry? Cool, cried about it. What what else are you gonna tell me that you shouldn't come? Is that is that it? Yeah, you guys shouldn't come to you? Is that it? Yeah. Look like this. And now men look like this. Um let me get out of the way. Pretty, pretty woman, pretty woman. I mean pretty man. Thanks to leftism, soy, impossible burgers, and sissy hypno fetish videos on YouTube. The Sissy Hypno. We're back at Sissy Hypno! All, always lead back to Sissy Hypno. The left wants to take your dick and crush it. The left wants to take your balls and grind them. Okay. Into dust. So a few weeks ago, it was International Men's Day, or a month ago now. Jesus Christ. How old is this video? Three years ago, I've not- These past I don't two know. months have felt like a week. But whatever, it was International Men's Day, and boy were the takes hot. And by hot, I of course mean extremely stale and we're tired of it. I must have seen like 20 of the same stupid joke. International Men's Day? <laughs> Isn't that every day? Oh shut my god, I hate up, this Karen. joke so much. Ha Literally, like shut the fuck up. Oh my god. How about you go live, laugh, leave us the fuck alone, Overall, I Literally. feel the discourse about men's issues has actually improved um, since the time I created this channel, which is really nice to see. When you bring up men's issues online, you tend to see a lot of, well, it's the patriarchy. And you're kind of just left like, okay, so... Patriarchy! Can we do anything about it? No, it's the patriarchy. It's the mess men have created for themselves. Like, sorry men, you've created society and therefore whatever bad happens to you, you just- It's your own fault! Because you personally, you personally have created the patriarchy. You reap what you saw after all. You reap what you saw! It's your own fault! Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta lay in the it's bed a joke. you made. Oh, you're a man and you're poor? That was you a joke. That was a joke! Bad. You should have thought of that before you created capitalism. I don't know, maybe that yeah, shouldn't be I'll the only you answer capitalism. every time men's issues are brought up. So around this time of year, conservatives experience a collective hallucination known as the War on Christmas. But there is another war the right what? is waging. And that is the war on femboys. But we love fanboys. Dude. We love fanboys here. Who here likes fanboys? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you like fanboys. Ooh, what did I just do? How did we get here? How did we get here? Chat, where did my video go? My video's gone. My fucking video's gone. Everything's over. Control shift T. The video's back. I closed the tab somehow. Capitalism. I don't know, maybe that shouldn't be the only answer every time men's issues are brought up. So around this time of year, conservatives experience a collective hallucination known as the War on Christmas. But there is another war the right is waging. And that is the war on femboys. Femboys! Oh my god. <laughs> Hey yo! Stop chat. He's stuck. Stop chat. He's stuck. Stop chat. Help him. Oh no! 
Uh, while doing laundry, I seem to have somehow got stuck in this dryer. The thing that sparked this all was this picture of Harry Styles wearing a dress on the cover of Vogue magazine. Look at this. A male rock star wearing He's women's slang. clothing? Could you ever fathom such a thing? Oh, daddy, so this it's photo so unmanly. Right-wing Twitter was popping. So of Harry course. I didn't even know this. Oh my god. Like, I didn't even I catch with this at all. Harry Potter. I'm sorry, <laughs> I am, after all. Allah forgive me. A liberal. A Harry Styles wore a dress, but... Looking at these Lee reactions, a hot, yeah. he like rose from the depths of hell, burned our crops, and poisoned our water supply. So let's read some of these takes, and then I'm going to respond to a video by Ben Shapiro, and also Ben Shapiro's sister, Abby Shapiro. Okay. We got the whole Shapiro family here. Yeah, today. the whole this Shapiro is why squad. We need gender norms. If you don't teach men to be men, they'll be whatever this is. A successful pop star? Antifa holds a photo shoot. Harry Styles is Antifa now. China is laughing at us. Why? Okay, no. they've probably been laughing at us forever. Why does it matter now? cares? Wouldn't that be a good thing if, like, a country like China was, like, looking down at us for having freedom? God help us. I'm sorry, but there is nothing attractive or beautiful about those clothes being modeled by a man. It doesn't draw me to want to purchase the clothes or the magazine. It okay. does, however, take Oops. me to okay, my us. knees, begging Jesus to come quickly. <laughs> no, no, no. God save us. He's, he's on his knees begging. Us. God save us of the radical left. Please, pray with us for Trump victory. <laughs> That was three years ago, here we are again, chat. Here we are again, chat. <laughs> Speaking about Trump. God have mercy of us. Holy sh I see some of my favorite Republicans disagreeing with this. This is nothing wrong. Who cares if men are embracing femininity? Literally. Based little Republican Zoomer. It is reality that the Y chromosome, which determines the male sex, has deteriorated over time as a result of the mutations it has suffered. These are the consequences. What? What is the he even trying to say? The Y chromosome is deteriorating? It's the future like... feminists want. We were warned. I warned you all. <laughs> He's available, ladies. There are- Okay. Possibly millions of women who would f carry styles. One of the percent, like... Like, what do you mean? Like, what? Huh? I don't know many women who will f Dan Stringer. This guy. Would you? He's yeah. available, ladies. In a lot of blinders. Biden gets elected by promising a return to normal. Then the left goes all in on men in dresses. Yeah, that's right. This is Joe Biden's America now. Put on the dress, rightoid. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is why we have so many fanboys now because Biden got elected. Is is this why we got so many fanboys now? Got it. <laughs> this dude gets zero girls. But he sure is a fucking millionaire rock star. Absolutely disgusting. This is not our society as much as you want to transform it. Men are men. Not women. If you're mad about that, get over it. He's still a man. He's a man! Remember when yeah. men used to be men and not weak soy boys like this? Imagine wearing this when out. He wouldn't last long in some places. Yeah, because those places are toxic and... Just, you know... Yeah, that's, so stupid. that's the issue. Lord yeah. help us all. These soft-handed, Starbucks coffee-drinking, Skinny jean wearing man ladies haven't ever had a real woman in their lives. Sure. Here you go, a real man from back in my day. Oh, and a great president too, and it's Ronald Reagan. If a genie appeared right now in front of me and granted me three wishes, I would wish for one, world peace, two, okay. the power of invisibility, and three, Okay. I wish that I could bring Ronald Reagan 
back from the dead. Hey, man. So I can f that motherfucker with my own bare hands. Now this is just actually <laughs> funny to me because like 90% of the femboys I know of on Twitter are some flavor of far right. Why are all the femboys racist? We're actually at the point where Wait, what? instead of the stereotypical a man getting mad that a woman he thought was cute turned out to be a man, they're now getting upset that the man dressed up like a woman turned out to be an actual woman. <laughs> Women, we're becoming oh, obsolete. The up. men are just gonna start hold dressing up. in maid outfits and f***ing their hold bros. Up. They're already working on artificial wombs. Hold up! I'm gonna be obsolete! Femmes are taking over! <laughs> we're f***ed. It's over! Consider political lesbianism. There is no society <laughs> that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. What? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Felix, my beloved. Are you sure? Felix, my beloved. This this was my first encounter with a trap or uh, the preferred um, description nowadays. Femboy. And he's so adorable. I love him. I love him. I love him so much. Oh my god, he's one of my favorite characters. Mine was Hideri from Blenders. Hideri was another one of the first ones I've encountered. Sure about that. Candace, I'm a guy. Why can't I just wear a dress? Because you can't, okay? You can't. But I just yes, want to can. express myself in little girl clothing. You can't. You're just. You're not yes, allowed you to. can. I love how you all can. these people. If you are want just to, like, freedom, just do it. I don't freedom, care. Freedom, freedom. And the second some dude has the audacity to throw on no a longer freedom piece of fabric, <laughs> this is some serious no longer freedom. authoritarian ass shit. Like in her perfect society, what does she want to happen? The Gestapo to take you away if you dare wear clothing that wasn't designed to the Scots exactly. for your gender? I'm wearing men's sweatpants right now. Like, what are you gonna do, Candace? Break down my door? What are you gonna you do, Candace? Take some follow. Handcuff me? What are you gonna do, yep. Candace? That's what she's gonna do. You the <laughs> oh, Candace, it's getting a little bit kinky in here. Also, <laughs> it's getting a little bit steamy in here. Also, Candace, hey. this you? She's always wearing these like cute little suits more than she wears dresses. What she's wearing here could have been considered men's clothing. In case you wanted to know, oh, Lamar, Women, she was removed. Okay. What happened? I hate these <laughs> memes. This, this is the classic one. I hate this meme. What happened to men? What? What is wrong here? I don't see anything wrong here. Because first of all, that dude. He looks comfy as hell. Based and cozy pilled. And the other guy in the suit still exists. Throw a suit on the cozy guy. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, suddenly you got him. yourself a classical man. Masculine men still exist. They're not going anywhere. I hope yeah. they don't go anywhere. My lizard brain is extremely attracted to masculinity. If masculinity becomes endangered, Believe me, I will be like PETA protesting. But unlike PETA and the animals, I won't be kidnapping and killing the men. This brings. Bro, oh, PETA's so ridiculous. They free the animals just to then put them down. Great. Good job, PETA. Good job. Vogue photo shoot with Harry Styles, in which he dressed garishly in a bunch of women's clothing. And he looks like an idiot. Hey, let's just put that out there, How? straight up front. He looks like a moron. Hey, you let's sound say like that you're a married woman and your husband comes through the door wearing one of your gowns. Would your first reaction be, I love how you're bending gender norms, honey? I'd be like, hell yeah. Easier access to the I'm so sorry, uh, mom and dad. I know you're watching this. Great. Fabio, I, I asked our, uh, our hair and makeup person, Fabiola, about this. And her reaction, I thought, was uh, was on the mark. She said, if my husband walked through the door wearing one of my dresses, I would punch him. What? Healthy relationship. 
What See, the here's fuck? where the gaslighting comes in. Vogue treats this as groundbreaking and wonderful. And we are told this is very brave, incredibly brave. Literally this fucking week, a kid was suspended from school for painting his nails. And these- What? What? That's ridiculous. These motherfuckers are up on their pedestal like, so stunning and brave. It f***ing is. Until it is, yeah. Like this stops happening, it is unironically brave. I would love to get to the point in society back- Like, bro, back in my day, people already, like, wear males and, like, freaking uh, 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 wear nail polish. Sorry, English just stopped existing there in my brain for a second. Like, have you ever seen, like, fucking emo and goth kids? They were slaying that fucking black nail polish man. Like, bro! Benjamin, that it isn't stunning and brave. I would love to get to the point in society where a dude can paint his nails or put a dress on and everyone's just like, okay, don't care. That is the America that I want to live in. Masculinity and femininity do exist. And not only that, how does this tie into the whole dress conversation? Outward indicators of masculinity and femininity exist in nearly every human culture, right? We train little boys to be masculine and we train little girls to be more feminine. Gender- Why are we training them? <laughs> Why are we training them on- What's up, y'all? On the toxic standards of society. In the mind or how you express yourself. And sex is biological, your genitals. This is third grade stuff. Remember penis inspection day at school? There is a reason females have vagina and men have beepus. But there is no reason blue is a boy color and pink is a girl color. Literally, there's absolutely no reason behind that, man. There's no reason apart from stupid soci society making it that way. There's nothing. Like... Why is pink a feminine color and why is blue a man color? Why? Why is it so ingrained in our brains? Like, even I to this day... I can't help it but think that way as well. I can't help to think that way because I grew up in that kind of standard. It's just a standard that's pushed everywhere. And definitely is toxic. Like, there's logically no reason. Blue was royalty, French color, not man. There you go. There you go. And why are you pink and not blue? Because I like the color pink. I like the color pink. Simple. It's a nice shade. Fun fact, growing up I hated pink because I associated it with femininity and with girly stuff. Growing up I hated being girly, by the way. I hated being girly. I hated it. I hated, 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 hated it. I didn't want to be girly. And now I love the color pink. Ah. That's our tomboy. <laughs> there is no reason dresses are for women. We made that up. She wasn't like it's the fiction. other girls, yeah. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made up tale. The stupidest form of the argument that I saw yesterday online was, well, in Scotland, they wear kilts. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to this. What my cheering is realizing pink and purple are golded. Literally. Agreed. 100%. Blue was once the female color and pink boy was just like heels. Feministic women started using it to show we can be equals. Yeah, like, right? Like, heels used to be worn by males. Like, you seen those old drawings and like the French Renaissance and all that shit? All the male royalties wore heels. What element is really making a fucking good point here? Made up tale. The stupidest form of the argument that I saw yesterday online was, well, in Scotland, they were kilts. Hmm? They that do. That a man in America wearing a skirt, a floofy skirt, is the same as a man in Scotland wearing a kilt. No, because they also distinguish between how men wear clothes and women wear clothes in Scotland, too. It's just that men wear different clothes than men in America. To suggest that because men wore something, like a kilt in Scotland, that if you transferred over to America would look more feminine. Therefore, a man wearing a skirt in America in 2020 is, is just the same in the male-female paradigm as a man wearing a kilt in Scotland in 1590 is insane and idiotic and ridiculous on its face, and we all know that. At what point 
does a kilt become a skirt or a skirt become a kilt. So it literally is just arbitrary American fashion trends. The purpose of pointing out that men wore dresses back in the day is to show that these things are always changing. For all you know, in 200 years, dresses could be the man thing. And they'll be and no longer be a woman YouTube thing, yeah. Trying to explain to their audience that women should be allowed to wear dresses too. I love how I say 200 years. Like we're gonna be around for 200 more years. No, don't, don't bring up my fear of death. Hilarious. Masculinity and femininity are categories. They exist. Right? Some behavior is more masculine, like punching people in the face. Some behavior is more feminine, what? like wearing floofy dresses. People bully Ben online all the time because he's short. Do I get bullied because I'm short? No. Why does Ben get bullied because he's short? Because he's a man. Short men are seen as weak and fragile and whatever. Which, by the way, is not tr true. We love our short kings on this we channel. Do but love our short kings. Because of this, Ben would kind of sit back What's and up, be Dave? like, "Hey, yo, maybe all this like gender stereotype shit is kind of dumb. Maybe I should just ignore the fact that some guys like to wear different clothes than me. I'm just gonna, you know, throw on my cowboy hat and lean against a truck." And do my own thing. Fellas, what stuff What's up with her mic? Like this? Okay, I am done with this man. Let's see what rule 62 gender swapped Ben Shapiro has to say about this. Ben Shapiro's sister, <laughs> Abby Shapiro, the woman that YouTube really, really, really wants me to watch. I cannot escape the ads. I, Abby Shapiro is I, one of I the have most no idea requested who she is. response requests that I get. Please do a video responding to Abby Shapiro. Please do a video responding to Abby Shapiro. And let's like, I avoided it for the most part because like, it seems like most of her channel is just your typical like, I'm a trad wife. I love the home oh. and baking cookies. And just okay. like that kind of thing. And let me just say, okay, I'm fair. kind of traditional myself, okay? I would love to be a stay at home mom, baking cookies and shit. But the time has come. It is time to respond to Abby Shapiro. Hello, classic crew, and welcome to today's episode of The Scoop. I hate her already. Just from this, I hate her. I love hearing what you guys have been up to, so please leave that in the comments. I always read them. She always reads them. Now's my chance. Hello. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> the first thing I want to talk about today is something that kind of went viral on Twitter, and that was Harry Styles in a dress on the cover of Vogue. Yeah, that really yeah. happened. But that, there, there's a picture. And it's 2020. Anything can happen, it seems. What? Am I just like... Am I just, like, desensitized? Am I callous? I remember being a teenager, right? Back in the early days. Way, way, okay. way, 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 way back. The day- Watchan usually has fetish pages for her? What the fuck? Days of Ebaum's world and LimeWire. I remember being on the internet in those days and seeing some wild, crazy sh**. Like I'd have images burned into my mind. I still can't eat chocolate ice cream. No. Oh no. <laughs> That video was shown to me by my sisters, who are younger but who are younger than me. That video was shown to me by my younger sisters. By my younger sister who is like, let me think for a second. Six years younger than me. Six years younger than me. She showed it to me when she was like 12 or something. I think she was around 12 and she saw that video and she found it hilarious. She found that... That video hilarious. My sister's messed up in my head, though, man. She's messed up in my head. She's absolutely fucking messed up in my head. Now I see objectively worse things online, like every day. And I just kind of scroll past it. It's like wallpaper to me. Maybe <laughs> I am just callous to debauchery. Perhaps I need therapy. Or maybe feel- What video my Twitch was buffering? 
objectively wild, crazy sh Like I'd have images burned into my mind. I still can't eat chocolate ice cream. Does that help? Does that help? Do I need to say more? Do I need to say more? Do I need to say the name? Now I see objectively worse things online, like every day, and I just kind of scroll past it. It's like wallpaper Ooh, to girls. me. Maybe I am just callous to debauchery. Disgusting. Perhaps I need therapy. Or maybe, feel free to disagree here, maybe these people might just uh, be that's not really therapy. colossal snowflakes. No, I and do. there's nothing I know that actually I need that to. crazy or wrong with a man choosing to wear a dress. I should actually probably go to therapy though. As somebody who Probably, really yeah. values masculinity Same And finds masculinity very attractive Same Same I don't find Harry Styles in a dress attractive Okay Why not? Neither do I It's not really a attractive, sexy thing Like, she looks good in it To me when okay. a dude wears a dress Like, the clothing itself is not hot In fact, this dress in particular, honey it's kind of a ugly dress. The attractive I part think it's to fine. me would come from the confidence, the no f**ks given attitude. The way that- And attractive or not, isn't he a lot? Like, literally, like, he doesn't need to be attractive or not. He doesn't. Like, okay, cool, now what? A man can carry himself and not give a about what society or you think. If Harry wasn't some rich, famous celebrity and he walked around in a dress, he would get like beat up and cold. Yep. Up. I can yep. say that, okay? I'm half. I know that's not how that works. I know that's not how that works. But you. Harry Styles in a dress is just oh, my type. Shoot. He looks so handsome. He looks so great. No. Incorrect. <laughs> Incorrect. Abby Shapiro. Arbiter of your sexual taste. You think freckles are hot? Bzz, wrongo. You like facial hair? Uh, okay, I guess she she is the judge of what's attractive now. Bzz, wrongo. You like feet? Actually, unironically wrong. Stop doing that. Please As stop. somebody who loves the. I love shoe on a hat. You can call me Sue. I sue. The fact that my husband is a man and is masculine. Thanks for the follow, Sue. A Dioni spray? <laughs> from the perspective of am I attracted to a man who would put on a dress? The answer is no. Seeing okay. men in a dress doesn't really do it for me. I'm gonna be okay. honest. Oh my so god, much. we get it. Nobody is forcing you to f Harry Styles. Men don't belong in dresses. In Western culture, so, sue. it's not a thing. They're just in Western culture. And Western culture is the right culture, how? Western culture so today's society is right, how? Thing. Men don't belong in dresses. Holy sh- See, I thought this was just gonna be like a moderate conservative take. Kind of like a, oh, they can do whatever they want, but don't shove it in my face. They're, it's their freedom, it's their freedom of expression. I just don't like the agenda. Like that type of thing. But no, men don't- belong in dresses. Man, if it doesn't turn me on, it shouldn't be allowed. Could you imagine that's just how like the world and the country like operated? That Things that crazy. don't make you think so the gift is outlawed. Pray I never get into this power, you guys. Men don't belong in dresses because men Why? should be men. It's a good thing for men to be men. Not having okay. masculinity at all would be a real loss to us as women. If you wear a dress, it won't turn me on. Think about my feelings. <laughs> Literally all that's happening here is if you want to wear a dress, whatever, do it. We're just- Literally! Like they're paying for what the fuck they want to! Who are you to judge them? Who are you to judge someone and tell someone how to dress and how to fucking act, man? Just let people do whatever the fuck they want to! Is that frozen on display? Oh, it might be. I think the chat got fucking traumatized by two girls. The chat got fucking traumatized. Trying to normalize the very basic libertarian, very basic concept of freedom, of doing 
whatever the hell you want as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. Normalize. <laughs> The words coming out of my mouth. Time to get normalized. That's double plus ungood. If our forefathers came back from the dead and looked around, they would be like, why are we letting the black people vote? But they would also be like, stop treading on this man's freedom. This is America. Oh, wait. That's true. Wait. Harry Styles is British. <laughs> Never mind. George Washington would just call him a fucking lobster back and shoot him in the head. The whole idea <laughs> of toxic masculinity really bothers me because the word toxic implies that masculinity in and of itself is poisonous. And it's not. True. No, it doesn't. Like, what? No. Toxic masculinity is a stupid fucking term. I will stand by this to my grave. Most feminists will be like, you know, we're not talking about I'm allowed to speak on this All masculinity, which is true. They're just talking about, you know, the toxic parts. There's also toxic femininity or whatever. But then there's people like Andrea Dworkin's husband. <laughs> yes, she has a husband. I don't know who that is. That man's balls are in a jar somewhere. Then there's people like Andrea Dworkin's husband that are like, actually, no, those other feminists are wrong. We do mean all masculinity, so shut the f up. And of course, like, the brands had to jump on this discourse, like Gucci selling a $2,000 men's dress to the fight fuck? toxic masculinity. Give me $2,000 and then toxic masculinity will go away. You want to be a good ally, fuck? don't you? The toxic masculinity the fuck? discourse is just shitty. I agree with some of it and I have for years, like, oh, um, society teaches men that it's not okay to cry or whatever. Men should be comfortable expressing their emotions. Um, they shouldn't bottle shit up. They're just going to off somebody or themselves. Statistics don't lie, boys. Are you okay? Are you okay, my little pog champs? The truth is men just aren't oh. doing well. Everyone really, is not doing well. The suicide rate for 10 to 29 year old men is 77%. The suicide rate for men 30 to 44 years old is 78%. Wow. 43% university attendance. One in four homeless people are women. All the most dangerous and fatal jobs are held by men. 42% of UK men aged 18 to 45 considered suicide. 41% of men who contemplated suicide felt they couldn't talk about their feelings. Oh, that's... that hurts, 32% of men who contemplated suicide didn't want people to worry about them. <laughs> Women are struggling to find men who make as much money as they do. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Broke men are hurting American women's marriage prospects. A good man is hard to find, especially in this economy. The country is facing a crisis of broke dudes, according to new research from Cornell University, and it's left successful ladies single and disgruntled. Men are poor, women most affected. Lit I have s Holy shit, this is angering me. This is angering me so much, man. Holy shit. Teacher who has been studying marriage for 30 years says the gig economy and lack of good jobs have contributed to the death of well-to-do dudes. So is the fact that women are outpacing men educationally, upending the age-old dominance of the male breadwinner over the past five to 10 years. Now it's the case that more highly educated women are marrying down, says Letcher. Marrying men have down. to get with the program. Single New Yorker Gina Thibodeau has some theories of her own about the fella famine. I don't even consider myself all that successful. I just make a living wage and I'm comfortable. But the majority of guys she meets can't say the same. Like, let's not pause to just... just <laughs> step back and take uh, a moment just... to think about how depressing that line is. Apparently, women aren't getting married anymore because of a surplus of broke men. This is possibly the most hilarious study we've ever read. Because let's be honest. <laughs> oh my god, I have no words. Oh my god, I have no fucking words. I I have no fucking words. Yeah. 
Oh, poor women can't find a man that doesn't make enough money. Doesn't make more. Oh. <laughs> Take me out! I. I in game? Like, bro, this. This is insanity! Oh my god. <laughs> my inner law player wants to say words to these people. That's how I'm feeling, brother. That's how I'm feeling. They're benefiting from the privilege that affords them better wages, faster promotions, and intrinsic respect from everyone they meet. If they're not bringing home some financial benefit to the table after we suffer through the gender pay gap and glass ceiling, what's the point? Honestly, we're kind of obsessed. You know what the point of a partner is? You know what the point of the partner is? Love? Hello? Hello? Love? Wanting to spend time with, like, like, wanting to have, like, a deeper and more intimate connection to another human being? Am I insane here? Like... Oh my god! ...with the study, because if you take away all the sexist assumptions and patronizing findings, there's one beacon of hope. The idea that men are useless if we're not draining them for money. The American people are tired of women. When you're a man and the one purpose in life- I am tired of women too. You ...had, which is making money to provide for a family is starting to become almost impossible. Things kind of suck. The country's happiness has just been declining in general overall. And you can look at that as a Rorschach test, depending on your ideology. You see society crumbling because a dude wants to wear a dress. I see society crumbling because we are a dying empire. We are not the same. So here's my hot take. He is right. I don't give a fuck. If you are Literally, why, why is this such a hot take nowadays that to just let people live the way they want to? Why do people think they have the audacity, like, not audacity, the authority? Why do people think they have the authority to tell other people how to feel, how to dress, what to do? Take them all out. Doing something that does not hurt anybody else or stop anyone else from doing whatever they want to do, then you do you. That is my outlook on life. Whether you want to be a traditionally masculine man, a traditionally feminine woman, or you're somebody who likes to experiment with style, clothing, and how you express yourself, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm pretty comfortable in my gender role. But that doesn't mean everyone else's, or more importantly, has to be. Like, who gives a sh**? We are in the middle of a global pandemic. Thousands of people waiting on food uh, lines. Uh, an eviction crisis. And these mother are crying about a rock star wearing, wearing a, dress. a dress. That's and what's I'm important. About them crying about a rock star wearing a dress. So, oh, and here we are crying really about her, crying about here. crying. Listen, kings, life sucks, I and think then you die. We are the real so losers do whatever here. the f you want. I saw your tweet about how women oh. are trash, and I just wanted to say that I agree. Although myself, I trash. am a woman, I know, ugh. I am on your side. One of the good ones, as they say. <laughs> oh, shoo. Oh, shoo. W take as always. Yeah, her takes are just Wing all around.